This video will give you a general view of the process for completing the free application for federal student aid, FAFSA. Please have the following information on hand. Your social security number, your parents' social security numbers if you are a dependent student, your driver's license number if applicable, your alien registration number if you are not a U.S. citizen, income documents or other records of money earned, your 2015 income tax return. To access the application, go to fafsa.ed.gov. Select Start a new FAFSA. If you already have an FSA ID, select Enter your, the student's, FSA ID. If you do not have an FSA ID, select Enter the student's information. Click Start 2016-2017 FAFSA. Create a save key. This is for temporary use. The save key allows you to return to the application or correction later if you need to stop and save your work. View the Helps and Hints section to get more information on how to create the save key. If you completed an application last year, click FAFSA Renewal. You must read every question in the application carefully and answer it. If you have doubts regarding a question, you may refer to the Help and Hints section on the right side of the page. If you click on the Answer box for a question, the Help and Hints section will show specific instructions for that question. You may also go to the Need Help link on the bottom of the page. The FAFSA consists of several sections. Section 1 is Student Demographics. This section includes questions related to your personal information. Section 2 – School Selection In Section 2, you must include the College School Code. In the Federal School Code box, enter 015670 and click Search. In Search Results, click the box next to our institution, Florida Technical College. Click Add. In the next window, you must select your housing plans, indicating where you will live while you study. If you will live with your parents, select With Parent. If you will not live with your parents, select off campus. Section 3 Dependency Status This section includes several questions to determine your dependency status according to FAFSA. Answer all questions carefully. If you are a dependent student, answer yes to the following question. Do you want to answer questions about your parents? After clicking next, a window will appear to complete your parents' information. If you are an independent student, you may answer no. Section 4. Parent Demographics If you are a dependent student, you must enter your parents' information in this section. If you are an independent student and do not want to provide information about your parents, the FAFSA will skip this section. Section 5 requires your financial information. If you are a dependent student, it will first ask you for your parents' financial information. Then, it will ask for yours under Students' Financial Information. If you are married, you must include your spouse's financial information in this section. If your spouse or you filed an IRS 1040, 1040A, or 1040EZ form, use the tool for transferring IRS information to your FAFSA by selecting Link to IRS. To complete the process, in Section 6, you will sign and submit your FAFSA. In the question, Are you a preparer? You must select No. Read the terms and conditions and select Agree. Make sure to sign your FAFSA, providing your FSA ID and then clicking on Sign. If you do not have an FSA ID, select Create an FSA ID. If you are a dependent student, one of your parents must also sign the application using his or her FSA ID. If neither of your parents has an FSA ID, one of them must create one by clicking Create an FSA ID. They must read the terms and conditions and select Agree. To submit your FAFSA, click Submit my FAFSA now. When you see the confirmation page, you will know that you have completed your FAFSA. We will receive your FAFSA response 3 to 5 days after you submit your application. We will then determine whether you need to send any additional documents. 